In this lecture, we are going to see the interface differences uh, between the older versions of ANSYS Workbench software and the newer versions of the ANSYS Workbench software. For that purpose, I have opened two different versions of ANSYS Workbench and if you are able to observe onto the left side of the screen, ANSYS 18.2 version of ANSYS Workbench is open and it is going to represent the older version of the ANSYS software. Then coming towards the right of the screen, uh, you will be able to observe uh, ANSYS uh, Workbench 2021 R1 software is open and uh, this uh, is going to represent the latest version of the ANSYS Workbench software. So before uh, going to learn uh, what are the interface changes, uh, we should uh, make sure uh, why we have to learn multiple versions of the same software. First of all, uh, in industry, due to number of factors and constraints, uh, they will be working with the multiple versions of the same software. Uh, so, they will be looking for candidates who will be comfortable uh, working with uh, different uh, versions of the same software along with the core domain knowledge they are having. So, this is why if it is uh, possible, uh, learning uh, interfaces, uh, different versions uh, is uh, entirely a realistic aspect so that is why you need to be having knowledge about uh, different interfaces uh, of the same software and mind you this entire course is uh, made uh, in the version of 18.2 but after this series of lectures that you are going to go through in this module you will be able to easily perform the same operations in any version of the ANSYS software as well. It might be old version of the ANSYS Workbench software or the newer version of the ANSYS Workbench software where uh, interface changes have taken place. So coming to our uh, topic, uh, if you observe uh, once we open the ANSYS Workbench, this will be the project uh, interface of ANSYS Workbench and if you observe uh, the project interface uh, for uh, both the newer version as well as the older version of the software are similar. Whenever we open a software, the first and foremost options we need to look at are how to create a new file, save the existing file, save as existing file and how to open a already saved file. Right. So all of these options uh, you can get uh, by going to the file option in the older version and there you will be accessing all of these four options. Likewise, uh, coming to the newer version of the software, here uh, you can click file and you will be able to access all of these four options. And if you observe uh, the position of these main options hasn't changed in the older version as well as the newer version as well. Then. Uh, here also we can access all of these four options through quick access toolbar in the older version of the software and in the newer version of the software also we can access those four options through the quick access toolbar. Then coming to the toolboxes, see the toolboxes are present towards the left side of the ANSYS Workbench interface in the older version of ANSYS Workbench and in the similar position you will be able to find the toolboxes uh, here as well in the newer version of the software. And the next important thing is uh, view options. So coming to the older version of the software, if I click on the view option, I will be able to access all the options related to manipulating the view of the project schematic. And uh, same here in the 2021 R1, we can go to the view file and uh, once we go to the view file, we'll be able to access the same options uh, that we were able to access in the older versions of the ANSYS software. Then uh, the most important thing is uh, we will be controlling the units for the project uh, that we are going to do. For that purpose, you need to go to units and once you go to units, uh, you can uh, see what are all the available units uh, that are present. Uh, for the current project and if you want to create new units or control the existing units you need to click on the unit system and once you click on the unit system see here a unit system or unit system manager appears before on the screen and if you are able to observe these are existing unit systems and their corresponding information right now 
Coming to the latest version of the ANSYS Workbench software, here as well there is an option called Units and if you click Units, you will be able to access the same information as like that you have accessed in the previous versions of the ANSYS Workbench software. So here also if I click on Unit Systems, see Unit System Manager appears and if you compare both of these unit systems, is there any difference? No. Not only the interface hasn't changed, but whatever the workflow that we use to create units and modify units in the older version of the software, this is exactly same to how we create new systems and control the existing systems in the latest version of the software as well. Finally, to state there are no changes in the interface elements of ANSYS Workbench main interface or a project control interface in the older version and the newer versions as well and this is also true for the unit system tools also so whatever the operations we learn on how to control the interface of ANSYS workbench and unit systems in the older versions they are exactly the same with the newer versions as well